This is the point of the newscast where we feel really bad for our reporters that are out monitoring the conditions. And this is uh, two situations here. Two of our reporters along the coast. Let's start off in uh, Narragansett. Yeah, Erica Ritchie is standing oh. by, it's barely standing by along the coastline. Erica looks just awful right now. It really is, and you're going to have to forgive us, guys, if we wipe down the lens in the middle of this live shot because the rain is just coming down at such a heavy clip, and those winds are driving it so strong, and we're really seeing the winds push the water over the seawall, uh, and so we're seeing a little bit of minor street flooding here along Route 1A in Narragansett. Uh, certainly, we saw a lot of uh, ponding on the roadways on our ride down here this morning. I would imagine now that the uh, the snow has turned over more to the water on the roads, but given all that slush that melted as well, definitely gonna be a lot of ponding down there. If you don't have to go out this morning, I certainly would not recommend it because this wind is the strongest that we felt since we got here at four o'clock this morning. Uh, and so far we've not seen any outages in this area, but I have been tracking with National Grid some outages in North Kingstown, South Kingstown, Little Compton. Uh, we'll be keeping an eye on that as well as the wind intensifies throughout the morning. Guys, sending it back to you. All right, so that's the first reporter we feel bad for. Now here's the second one in New Bedford. Uh, a lot of high winds and rain along southeastern Massachusetts coastline as well. Yeah, Kayla Fish is live with an update on the situation. You can hear the winds whipping there. Uh, and she also wants to bring us up to date on a huge overnight fire on the North Shore that's been, you know, further fueled by the winds out there, Kayla. Definitely not a great day to be outside by any means. And uh, this storm is just wreaking havoc throughout the Bay State. And I want to show you that video now of that fire in Salisbury, Massachusetts. It broke out overnight at a motel and it was a, a nine alarm fire. Reportedly, uh, firefighters uh, had their hands full battling this. And that's because of those whipping winds from the storm that helped spread those massive flames to nearby buildings, reports of multiple buildings that caught on fire in that area. Again, this is in Salisbury, Massachusetts. That's on the north shore of Boston, right by the uh, the New Hampshire state line. So uh, uh, that's still a developing story there. No word yet on any injuries from that. But uh, that's just uh, another impact of this storm that we're seeing. And as Michelle mentioned, there will be uh, gusty winds and rain really throughout the morning. So we'll continue to bring you an update on the conditions as we see them here with reports about every 30 minutes. We're live in your bed for this morning. Obviously uh, tough to hear Kayla this morning out there in those conditions. Hopefully they improve soon. If you lose power this morning, here are some important numbers to keep handy. You can report those outages to your utility provider. You can also find the numbers on our website, WPRI.com. And if you do see any storm damage later in your neighborhood, send some photos along if it's safe to do so, or maybe even some video. The address to send it to is right there on your screen. Report it at WPRI.com.